Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be checking out the details and animations for the upcoming Int LR Merge Zamasu that's going to be dropping on JP very soon. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's just jump right into it. We're going to start here with the animations first, as always. And I have not seen these yet because I wanted to, you know, experience it for the first time with you guys. So hopefully they don't disappoint. I don't think they will. And I'm going to pause my music here. Okay. And let's go. Okay, so, um, that was, that was glorious. That was glorious. Um, yeah, no, they did not disappoint. Uh, those are some beautiful, beautiful animations. And, you know, the first thing I noticed immediately is, like, the OST is perfect. That OST is, like, the perfect soundtrack for Merge of Asu. And um, I think it really, like, enhanced the vibe of the animations. And, uh, yeah, man, I mean, everything looks super, super clean. I think they they absolutely killed it. Um, I love the counter animation too. That's dope. So uh, yeah, we're off to a great start. Beautiful, beautiful looking animations. I'm going to turn on my music again before we proceed. Okay, there we go. Uh, you know what? I want to see... I want to see the active skill one more time before we move on. So let's give it a second. So this is the 18 key super. And it's freaking awesome. But of course the highlight, as as usually is the case, um, is this active skill right here, man. As though, but I love the fact that he does have his own KO screen, which we don't always get. So there you have it, guys. Those are the animations for the merge Zamasu. Now, popping over to, as you probably guessed the uh, Twitter page of the homie Goresh, who has provided us with these translations. A big shout out and thank you to Goresh once again. Um, starting with the, I guess, name of the unit, Fusion Zamasu, or Merge Zamasu, whatever you want to call him, beginning of an ideal world. Leader skill is Worldwide Chaos, or Patara, category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Now, of course, this, uh, is a leader skill for a legendary summon unit. Um, if you guys weren't aware, he's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, so he's not getting the you know 200% leader skill treatment, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think 150% leader skills these days. Um, I mean, I just feel like 170 should be the norm. You know, like even for non Dokkan Fest LRs, I feel like they should just give 170 at least to all new summonable units, but that's just me. Anyways, 
Uh, he has an entrance animation, which you guys saw, the fusion. And then uh, the super attacks, 12 key is Blades of Judgment, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers attack. And then 18 key super, Divine Wrath, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers attack. And uh, his passive is Zamasu is the power of the universe. <laughs> Okay, that's the name of the passive. Plays entrance animation upon first attacking turn. If there is another Patara category ally on the team and gains key plus one in addition when collecting key spheres for the first five turns from first appearance. So basically, uh, yeah, for five turns, he's gonna have that like int LR Gohan effect where you get double key for every key sphere. Uh, changes a random type of key sphere other than int key spheres to int key spheres, so he's also an orb changer, attack and defense plus 100%, and reduces damage received by 20%, okay, gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% when launching a super attack, performs in an additional super attack when launching an ultra super attack, okay, so basically if you do an 18 key super, you're guaranteed that second super, uh, attacks effective against all types when key is 24, reduces damage received by 2%, Per attack received during the turn, up to a maximum of 10%. Gains key plus one for every five attacks received in battle, up to a maximum of key plus five, and then recovers 10% HP at the end of turn every time five attacks are received. Uh, great chance to evade enemies' unarmed super attacks and counter with tremendous power, which is the counter we saw in the animations. Okay, so obviously they want you to get hit. Um, they want this guy to get hit because he gets a lot of effects from taking hits, like the HP recovery, like the additional key, like the additional damage reduction. So that's interesting. That's interesting. He's very good. I'll start with that. He's very, very, very good. Um, but if I were to nitpick, okay, if I were to find a flaw in his design, I would say I don't think his defense is going to be that high, uh, relatively speaking, before he attacks. Okay, I think he's going to have probably like, I don't know, like 150 to 200k defense, um, maybe without support, but yeah, around that range before he supers. Now, he does have the 20% damage reduction, which is going to help quite a bit, right? Um, but then after he supers, he's going to be insanely, insanely tanky because not only is he getting the greatly raising attack and defense on the 18 key, if you get the 12 key additional, which is guaranteed if you get the 18 key, right? Then you greatly raise attack and defense again. And then if you have hidden potential investment, you could potentially launch a third super. So you're stacking, you know, greatly... Wait, hold on. <laughs> You're greatly stacking uh, defense three times, right? So, um, yeah, in that instance, after he's able to attack, I mean, even with only two supers, he's going to be getting a ton of defense um, and become super tanky. But his defense before the super is not going to be great. It's not going to be amazing. The damage reduction will help, but I would still be a little bit concerned about him taking um, supers, you know, before supering. So... Um, that's like maybe the only nitpick I have about this unit. Otherwise, he's gonna hit really hard. Um, I mean, he's getting double super almost every turn. And, you know, getting 18 key super is gonna be pretty easy because of the additional key for the first five turns, right? And then also, he's changing orbs. So he's gonna be getting a lot of int key spheres for himself. And then he's also getting more key from taking hits. So... Yeah, I mean, he's going to be getting, yeah, 18 key all the time, uh, 24 key is not going to be too hard to get either with all those, you know, additional key and like the additional, um, you know, int key spheres you're able to get. And then if you get 24 key, then he gets attacks effective against all types, which makes him hit even harder. And uh, he's an incredible unit, man. It's, it's an absolutely incredible unit. He... Yeah, it really doesn't have too many flaws. Like, the only thing is what I said, right? Like, before he supers, he might not have the best defense. He might have to be... You might be a little bit concerned about him, um, you know, pre-super, but... 
otherwise he's gonna hold up well in most events and I'm only talking about like being concerned in the hardest events of the game right like on extreme super battle road or um, you know the uh, red zone events or something like that where like enemies can do so much damage with the super um, you might be yeah a little bit concerned but then even then you have the chance to counter, so if it's an unarmed super attack, he has a 70% chance, a great chance to counter. Um, so, yeah, that can also actually be really clutch. So, yeah, overall, just a really impressive unit to me on paper. He looks amazing. I've seen a few preview images of, like, uh, what he can do on... Twitter, I forgot whose page it was, but yeah, it was on Twitter, like they did some mods to like basically put this unit in the game before the release, at least with like these details, and uh, yeah, he's looking really good. <laughs> he's looking really, really powerful. Uh, oh, we're not even done with the kit yet. Okay, active skill, absolute lightning, able to be used once five or more super attacks are launched in battle once only. Um, that's actually not bad, considering he does get two guaranteed supers basically every turn, up to three. So two to three supers per turn, you'll be able to use this uh, latest by turn six, but you know, if you're lucky, it can be like turn five or... Actually, I guess turn five would be the earliest, but still not too bad. It's still not too bad. Um, Ability massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and stuns the enemy for one turn. And uh, the links are big bad bosses, dismal future, godly power, fuse fighter, nightmare, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are worldwide chaos, Patara, realm of gods, future saga, time travelers, final trump card, battle of fate, and fused fighters. So there you have it, guys. That is. The fusion is a Masu. Uh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, I forgot to include the uh, two percent additional damage reduction for every hit received uh, during the turn, up to ten percent. But then the first couple of attacks might still be a little bit nerve-wracking, like uh, if he's in slot one, right before he gets, he gets a chance to attack. So yeah, that's like the only only weakness, I guess, or only flaw of this unit. Um, but as a whole, he's he's amazing. And if you put him in slot two, he's gonna be untouchable, right? Like if, if he's in slot two with the you know greatly stacking uh, defense or not stacking, but like you know greatly raising defense twice with the 18 key and the 12 key, um, he's gonna have some amazing defense. Uh, obviously, once again, he's gonna do some amazing damage. So. Yeah, amazing unit guys. Really, really good unit. I am very impressed. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you guys think about it, how you guys feel about it, but um, yeah, I think he's incredible. I really do, and uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped for him now, because before I was like, yo, like Merge Zamasu is cool, but you know, he's not like the most hyped character, for me at least, personally, right, to me, but and now seeing the animations and seeing the kit, he's he's pretty hype. So uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger. Our breakout media, signing out.